Good morning, Year Six. It's Friday. I hope you've had a lovely week. Those of you that have been in school, I'll have seen half of you. I hope you half had a really good time. I would have no doubt chatted to you away over the fence or something like that. For those of you that haven't been in school, I hope you've had a lovely week too. And I can't wait to see you all on our Zoom at 11 today. So let's see what we've got uh, in regards to home learning. Okay, today's warm up cube numbers. Write down all the cube numbers that you can do. Um, I'd probably set yourself a time limit for this because knowing you lot year six, you will go on forever because you're so good at cubing numbers. Remember that little three means that we times the number three times by itself. So for example, if I had one cubed, it would be one times by one, that's times, oh, Miss Tucky, you can't even do a little time symbol times by one times by one so that little three tells us how many times we are times in this number by itself so one times one is one times by one still one so there's your first one set yourself a time limit and see how far you can go what about two minutes enjoy okay reading so if you've been reading along with us we are on chapter 12 um by now you know the protocol of reading you will have set yourself a time limit with your adults at home on how long you should be reading for a day. Um, the PDF document, if you haven't got it already, is on the Redbrook Hayes Home Learning site under Year 6 Home Learning. It's there as a PDF. So you can download the whole book and read away to your heart's content. But if you are reading with us, there is chapter 12. So read until the end of your time limit. If you get to the end of your time limit, um, whoa, that's the wrong way around. If you read the end of the chapter, before you get to the end of the time limit, there we go, have a go at these eight questions here. The answers can be found on Padlet. So just make sure you're spending that time limit that you agreed reading. So if you um, get to the end of the chapter, have a go at the questions if you've got time to do so. If you haven't, don't worry, just enjoy the story. It's a really nice book. Next up, our TT Rockstars time. So please log on to your TT Rockstars for 20 minutes of games. That's games, not buying new sunglasses, or shorts or guitars for your avatars. Have a go at these. I am loving seeing who is playing these. Um, I'm very, very impressed by the progress lots of people are making. So well done you. If you can't log on to TT Rockstars for whatever reason, there are some fluency questions on the next page for you to have a go at. Um, and if you need a new password, if you drop me an email, um, I'm working from my laptop today because it's Friday. So hopefully I'll see it very quickly and I can email it back to you. And here are your fluency questions today. So pause the video, have a go at these questions in your book and then use a calculator to mark them. Good luck. Okie dokie, this slide now tells you guys who've been on this um, home learning all week that you need to close this video for now and log on to khanacademy.com where I will have set you a task for the day. If you have been in school um, from Monday to Thursday, you won't have used a Khan Academy yet. And if you um, had the start of this week not doing home learning for whatever reason, you won't have used Khan Academy either. So there's some instructions on the next slide for you. Um, it's an online website where you can be set tasks and lessons to do by myself. I can see how you do and bits that you struggle on and bits that you do really well at. And um, it's completely free to use. You don't need an email to set up, but I would recommend getting your parents' permission. Um, yeah, and it's a really, really good website. And it's really good to know, especially when you're going into high school and further education and things like that, because they are free, really good, high quality lessons um, that are in a range of different subjects. So you can learn to code, you can learn to video edit, you can learn different languages. It's fabulous. So we're set up for year six level, but you can set up by yourself and have a look at all the different programs that they offer. So the next bit will be instructions on how to log on to KhanAcademy.com. So um, when you go to that website, it will take you to a screen that looks like this. You simply need to click on learners um, and it will then bring up this screen. So you're joining Khan Academy as a learner um, and don't worry about this bit. Um, you just need to click this button here, enter a class code. So from there, you need to add our class code, which is there. And then you need to click on the button add. At this point, you need to check it says this. So our screen should say then 
Miss Tucker's year six class. If it doesn't say that, you've entered the wrong code. So you need to remove that code and try again. If it does say Miss Tucker's class, then you can go ahead and click on create a new account. So when you're on create a new account, you can continue with Google, but it's actually so much easier to just sign up by choosing a username. This way you don't have to enter an email, so you don't get loads of spam coming through your email inbox. Um, and it's nice and quick and easy. So if you're signing up with a username, you just need to choose a username. Um, it does say on here, don't use your real name. So if your name is, I don't know, Sebastian Smith, don't use Sebastian Smith because that's your full name and you're putting it out on the internet. Think again, like we said, you know, when we talk about internet safety, don't spread your full name everywhere. But I would like you to try and use either one of your nicknames or something so I know it's you, so I know who's who. If you've used a completely obscure name, that's absolutely fine. Might just be helpful though to drop me an email to year6 at redbrookhays.staffs.sch.uk and let me know what your username is so I know who's who when I'm looking at them. Because otherwise if your name is, I don't know, Spongebob Squarepants as your username, love it, brilliant. But if somebody's really struggling with something, I can't offer them extra help then because I don't know who I need to email or get in contact with. So just let me know if it's a really obscure name, just let me know your username. Then you need to create yourself a password, a nice safe password that's just yours and don't give it um, to anybody else. Maybe your parents, in case you're like me and you lose it, forget it, but don't send it amongst the rest of the class or to anybody outside of our class. So from there, it brings you into this screen and you need to click on, if it doesn't bring this little pop-up box up straight immediately, you do need to click on courses. And when you're on courses, you need to select, ooh, just put a line through it, grade six or year six, okay? And then click continue. And from there, um, you need to select the arithmetic box. Um, there are other ones as well if you want to add on to those, but um, we'll just be going through the arithmetic and if you would like to select the grammar box now if you want to go on and use this scroll bar to see what else is available you can do these are all um, courses that are completely free so when you've selected your courses you then click continue with two courses or however many you've got and that then will bring you up to this so for the first day um, I can't set any work to anybody because I haven't got any students. So on your first day of logging in, um, I can't set you a task. So your first task on the first day is to choose one. So um, maybe start with something nice and simple like addition and subtraction. Um, and that takes you through a course. So set yourself a time limit, Set get your phone or your tablet or I don't know, an egg timer of 45 minutes or an hour or do half an hour now and then half an hour later set yourself time and work through these lessons they give you videos and explanations then a few practice questions and then a little mini test to test your skills at the end so take your time go through they're really really helpful and like i said they're a great tool to have in your belt when you're going up to high school and you need a bit of extra time or um, want to give yourself a bit of extra learning um, it's a really, really good website. So today's learning is to choose one lesson and have a go at one or to have a go at 45 minutes worth of a lesson. Um, and then from then on, I can then set you tasks on a daily basis that you will find in your um, account under this teacher's bit. So I hope that was informative and I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know how you get on. Okie dokie, before you try today's words, test yourself on the three words that we did yesterday, which are generous, chorus and tong. How did you do? Check your practice from yesterday to see if you got those correct. Well done if you did, they're tricky ones, especially generous. Right then, 15 minutes to practice these new three words, any fashion you find useful. Um, think robot, right, backwards, rainbow, I don't know, write it in... A different language well that might not be very helpful for learning spellings but just learn the spellings of these three words in any way that you wish make a song make a dance make a cheer routine make a TikTok dance to learn them anything that helps you learn your spellings then 
write one sentence with all of them in and check to see that you've spelled them correctly. And then final test, ask somebody at home to test you on them. See how well you do. Good luck. OK, our writing task for today. The box, the door, the crumbling brick. It begged me to enter. Here's a picture of a door and your first three sentences. I want you to write the rest of the story. No longer than three pages. That's, you know, keep it a short story, but pack it full of excitement and keep that reader of yours engaged. So think what could be behind the door? Maybe it goes to another world, another dimension, another time. Maybe it goes to a bit of a spooky scene. A horror story, maybe. Maybe it goes to a magical realm. So you're going to write a magical story. You know, think, oh, how could you make this engaging for your reader? If you type these stories up or have a really good picture of them when you've handwritten them, why not upload them to Padlet? You can even do it anonymously if you're, if you're a bit worried about what people will think. Upload it to Padlet and we'll read it. I'm sure you will love the comments that you get back. Can't wait to read them. Good luck, Year 6. Oh, and final thought on this, why not turn your story into a movie? So if you've got some extra time this afternoon, why don't you, um, you can draw all the, the props and the scenery out, or you could act it out, or you could make an animation of it um, using an app um, like Animate Light or I Can Animate Light. Um, have a go, why not make it into a story? You're all telling me that you're gonna be famous YouTubers, why not edit a video and make your own movie to show to your parents and friends? That'd be cool. OK, and today's transition activity. So we've talked about our high schools all week. And now you're going to do some research into travelling. So a lot of you walk to school or cycle to school by yourself. And some of you still come with parents or get dri dropped off or driven or whatever. Um, and some of you will be going to school in different ways. You might be catching a bus. You might be cycling, you might be walking, you might still be getting dropped off. That's absolutely fine. Um, I always remember I liked my mum to drop me off in the morning because it rained a lot. <laughs> I don't like walking in the rain. So <laughs> think about now you need to organise yourself. The majority of you will be responsible for getting yourself from home to school. So I want you to sit down and think about these. It might be helpful to have a parent do this with you or an older sibling who's been to the school that you've been to. So think about what day your what time your school day will start. So when do you need to leave home to get to school on time? Don't be late. Think about when your school finishes. Think about how you're going to travel to school and from school and how many minutes it will take, take, it'll take you to get to reach. Oh, Miss Tucker, get your words out. How long will it take you to reach home? Once you've understood what on earth I'm waffling at and in that bit, your job is then to sketch yourself a, a route, a map. It might even be handy to walk this if you've got time this weekend. If you've got to walk a route, have a little practice walk or walk to the bus stop um, or maybe even, you know, go for a little drive to go and see the high school that you're going to. That'd be interesting. Plan out your route, how you will go to and from school. It's really important to know and to be comfortable with the route that you are going to take. I hope you enjoy this and have a lovely weekend. And I cannot wait to speak to you all on Monday. Have a good weekend, year six.